Hi Floss Tube, it's Adele and I'm doing this video at half past 11 at night um, and I'm doing it even if I have to stay awake until 3 in the morning. I decided to do the video tonight and um, put my children to bed and then so my children normally, well my daughter normally goes to bed at about 7, um, my son a little bit earlier and tonight she just wouldn't go to sleep so it's almost like she knew I wanted to do something so I started putting her to bed and um, she wouldn't let me go and then so it was gone eight I then came downstairs and started tidying up and turn around and she's behind me uh, my husband takes her up to bed and she says that she needs some magic milk because that's what makes her brother go to sleep. So my husband came downstairs, made her some more milk, took it up to bed. And then a little, he comes downstairs a little while later. My son starts crying. So I said to my husband, oh, what's woken him up? And with that, my daughter's at the door downstairs. So I opened the door and asked her, did you shout out for mummy? Yes. So then we had to wait for him to go to sleep before I could put her to bed. Then I had to finish tidying up, getting everything ready. My husband, because I feel weird talking to myself with him hearing, so he's been banished to the study. Um, I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Um, he, uh, so I took her, once I'd taken her up to bed, came downstairs, tidied up, got ready, I was literally about to press go and we had a power cut and I had no lights and no nothing so I'm doing it now. Uh, my husband is banished to the study because a week ago his, well our friends, um, did a Facebook live quiz which was brilliant. Um, unfortunately me and my husband won. Um, I say unfortunately because we didn't find out until the very end that, well, just before the end, but the prize for winning was to hold it ourselves the following week. Um, so we thought we'd just lost and we hadn't, we'd won. So he's sat in the study researching questions <clears throat> and he, I've told him he has to do it because I'd said we'd do it earlier on in the week. I didn't want to leave it until the night before. The quiz is now tomorrow and yeah, none of it's been done. So he's sat in there doing that while I do this. Um, so I'd just like to say to start with, thank you um, for everyone who's subscribed and everyone who's still subscribing. Um, I've had quite a few recently and I think that's down possibly to a couple of um, shout outs from people. Um, so thank you if you're shouting out. And if you know, if you've come to me from someone else, if you could just let me know, just so I can thank them, that'd be really good. Uh, right, so I did have some questions and I won't spend ages on questions. It was just a couple that um, I'd had several of the same sort of question. So. Um, one was stitching retreats in the UK, so I've, um, the best way to find out about them is on Facebook. There's a Facebook group called Mad Stitchers UK Retreats and Supply, um, and they list a lot of the um, retreats within the UK, and they're all over the UK. Um, I've been, as I say, I've been to one in Glasgow, I go to them in Milton Keynes, there's some in one in Yorkshire, I believe there's one in Ireland, um, so lots of places. But if you go on there, they list lots of them and you can find out all about them and join from there. Uh, the other thing I got a question about was, I've got some notes, so I will be looking down, was coffee dyeing, how I dyed my, I think it must have been, she just said um, how I did my coffee dyeing on that piece, but I think she must mean one of the darker pieces. So... I tend to make a really strong tea with say six tea bags in not even maybe half a pint depending on how much I'm 
how much fabric I'm dyeing, um, five or six, boiling water, give them a squidge around, leave it for ages until it's super strong. Um, and then I wet my fabric, put that in a bowl and I pour it on it, just soak it. And that probably those, I've done a few like it. One I left for probably almost a day by accident because I forgot about it. Another one I ended up double dyeing because I wasn't happy with it. I wanted it to be darker. So um, just leave it for ages until you're happy with it. Um, once you're happy, I just took it out, I take it out um, and I scrunch it up so it's still, I give it a ring but so it's still wet, into a bowl um, or a dish, oven proof, di proof dish, so it's all crinkled up. Um, you can also do it on a baking sheet with, um, I think Vonna does that, baking sheet with um, tin foil or something underneath. Um, I tend to do mine in an oven proof dish and I just pour a little bit on um, and then I do some coffee and I pour little tiny bits of coffee on it, um, not so it's soaking. Put that in an oven um, on about 150 um, degrees centigrade and just put it on for five minutes, go back and if it's dried out slightly, I might put a bit more on. Um, go back, go, I just keep doing five minutes and I go back and I check it and I go back and I check it. Um, and to get it really dark with those dark patches, it basically burns or looks like it's burnt. Um, I might turn it over and scrunch it again and do it again because I want more mottling. Uh, and then take it out when I'm happy with it and um, leave it, I normally leave it to cool down a bit. And then run it under, I uh, just run the cold water. I make sure the cold water doesn't pour straight onto it, but just rinse it under cold water. And I rinse it until the water runs clear. Um, with tea, tea will stain, like really stain, and it will stay. Um, it won't, it will lose some colour, but not a lot. Um, if you just do coffee, coffee runs out and um, it will be a lot, lot lighter than it looks. Um, most of coffee will run out. I have found that the coffee, um, and I use ground coffee, like cafetiere coffee, um, to, when I make mine up, and I make that up really strong. And I find that when I spoon that over, um, or slosh it over a bit, that tends to be the bit that burns and goes black, um, or not black, but really dark brown. And when you wash that out, that obviously mostly comes out, but you still get those really dark brown mottling effects. So that's how I did how I did that. Um, and I will I rinse everything. So if I tea and coffee dye, um, I rinse it until it's clear. I don't leave tea and coffee in it. I rinse it and rinse it and rinse it, and I still get the dark or light, depending on what I'm going for. And the same with any other dye. I always rinse it um, until it's clear. Uh, what else was there? A couple of people um, said good luck about going back to work. That was another disaster. Uh, I went back to work and I only had two days the first week because my children had hospital appointment. Um, so I went in for the two days, started feeling in on the second day, went to the hospital and then I was really sick for... Well, all the rest of that week, weekend, I went to the doctors on the Monday. They gave me some antibiotics. Don't really like taking antibiotics unless I really need to, but I felt so ill. And after a few days, I started feeling a bit better and I went back to work the following week. So I was in for two days and then had a week off sick after 13 months and a week off. Um, so I felt really bad. Went back in and two days later, so on the Tuesday, again, got a phone call from my children's nursery to say they had a temperature and because of everything going on, they had to go home and we had to self-isolate for 10 days. So I had to have another two weeks off. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. I'm now working, but we are all working from home. So I'm working from home at the moment and that's going really well. And I'm finally back and yeah, fingers crossed. Um... I just have to clarify one thing 
from my last video that I unintentionally lied. Christy, uh, my friend, pointed out that I, she said, oh, your 56 count over one over one was amazing. And I actually went back and watched and that is what I said and that's not true. <laughs> I actually, uh, my Blessed Bee or Blessed Bee by um, Brenda Gervais with Onion Little Fred was 50, 56 count one over two. So it's the equivalent to 28 count. Yeah, 28 count one over one is the equivalent to that. Uh, yeah, so I didn't do 56 count one over one because that would just be crazy. Um, I'm sure some people do, but no. With the right floss, maybe Tudor silk or Suffine, maybe that would be fine. Maybe I should give that a go. Um, so, yeah, on to finishes, I think. So I've had one finish since my last video, and that is, hopefully, oh, what is it? Busy Bee's Stitching Tray. So it's this. And I finished mine. It was just a kit, so it looks exactly like the picture. And I do plan on treating myself to the tray I didn't because I didn't want to pay the money for the tray but now I've finished it and it's cute I'll get the tray once everything's sorted out and I can um, my next so now to wits I won't do them in order they're just from top to bottom of what I've got here so I pulled out an old whip that I haven't worked on hopefully you'll be able to see this if not I'll have to hold something up so this, oh, I didn't pull the cover photo out. Oh, I no, I didn't. Um, so this is A Red Cottage by Plum Street Samplers. I started it probably back in 2016, 17. And I'd done the stalk. Um, I've done one line of the house, I think, part of this, so I've done the rest since. I didn't have much done on it. And I love this. I'm really loving working on it. It's on 36 count vintage country mocker. Um, not normally a fan of 36 count. Actually, I really quite like this. Um, I'm also not normally a fan of vintage country mocha. I was. I thought it was brilliant because I couldn't get my hand on any hand dyed things. But then I started dyeing myself and bought loads of hand dyed stuff. You know, I love it. I think it's really nice and it is a lovely fabric. Um, I just don't like the fact that the mottling where it's printed is in stripes. If you look at it on like a fat quarter, you can, well, you can see here, it's, it's quite stripey. Um, yeah, but I love it. I have dyed some vintage country mocha and that turns out really nice because you've really got the base dye of a colour. But I love it. And it's so easy to work on and so lovely and this house is over one. That is actually one over one, but this is 36 count. Um, if I can get in close enough for you to see the little cute house at the front. So that's that one. That's the floss for it. And I was so pleased when I took this out because I have several heartstrings Santhory um, charts and she seems to love, sorry I keep shaking the camera, she seems to love piney woods as her green only they've changed piney woods and it looks exactly like pecan pie which is brown and not green so quite often she calls for piney woods and pecan pie and they both look almost identical now they, they don't seem to have the greeny gold in it that they did and it was beautiful it was a lovely green um i i messaged beth twist and asked did she have 
an alternative that I could use or that she would suggest and she suggested Weeks Direct Lily Pad which is a new one it is slightly lighter um, and it is a, it does appear to be quite a good alternative but it doesn't have the rich goldy green that is if you couldn't see my face quite a good it is quite a goldy green and it's really oh, it's lovely um, but yeah that's the colours so I was so glad because I'm not going to need much for this and I needed it for another project I'm going to be able to use it for that and then for one of the others any of the others I'm just going to um, replace I think classic colour works pine needles which I've got in another thing here um, that's quite a close match but it isn't a goldy green but it is that sort of green uh, right my next whip so since my last video I went to Southampton stitching retreat which was just down the road it was fantastic I met loads of people loads of lovely people I actually met a lady called Carol she lives just down the road from me in like the next town and um, into all the same sort of things that I'm into um, stitching and another power cut so I really hope that I can figure out how to put these two together I don't normally edit but if not I'm going to have to re-record this again tomorrow which means putting all this away and getting it all back out again I really don't want to do that anyway so yeah, I met, I think I was saying, I was at the Southampton Stitch Retreat, met a lady called Carol who loves all the same sort of projects that I do. Um, and she only lives just down the road from me. Um, so hopefully when everything's back to normal, we'll be able to catch up for some stitchy meetups. Um, met loads of lovely other lovely ladies and some people that I already knew and just it was just really nice to just chill out stitching before I sort of started work and then had loads of time off but um yeah it was just really nice um while i was there i'd so i started this one in october at a stitching retreat and this is the scary berry silk gauze version um and i started this as i say at a retreat in october and hadn't stitched on it since so took it to the retreat and thought I'll st stitch on it again there and then just make it a retreat piece and I'll stitch on it again in April because I had two retreats this month at the end of this month one weekend one one weekend and one the following weekend um both at the same hotel but with different people and yeah I won't be doing that <laughs> they've all been cancelled obviously um so this is, I don't know, fold it up a bit, there we go, so that's where I got to and I literally, I got everything done apart from, um, I only got from kind of here to here on the border done and then I did that on last night, I finished the rest of that border piece. Uh, the black bit um, for dark 13 stitching so I'm gonna I've decided because I'm not going to the retreats that this will be pulled out as a minimum as it is on my stitch 10 in 20 list um, I don't know how that's gonna fare um, I'll stitch on it a minimum of the 13th of each month before it becomes a regular um a regular whip and that's my that's the flosses for it mm. nice reds and purples and oranges but also nice greens um and this color what is it is it butternut buttercup buttercup so this is buttercup by weeks dyeworks I thought it was just such an ugly colour. It is like it's coming out a lot more yellow than it is on the screen, but it's 
it is just like a meh cream but it actually works really well as a moon these designs are so clever so clever and then as i said in my last video i you i'm doing each month i've got a main whip so it's my son's stocking one month and then it's my mum's acorns the next month and then I do all the rest of the stuff in the dream. Um, so this was March and I didn't start on this because I was really sick. I didn't start on this until like the 15th so I only got half a month on this um, and then I've totally been procrastinating on this month and I haven't even touched mum's acorns yet. Don't know why. And this is where I got to on him. Absolutely love him. These Dimensions Gold stockings are amazing. And so I literally had, what did I have to ask? The scarf. And maybe some of the bits in his face. I don't think I'd finished his face. But I might have done. Um I finished his hat. Anyway, I finished all this filling and I went down here and I did his arm and I did all his body. So I was quite pleased with my progress. I was hoping to get a bit. I knew I wasn't going to get any more done when I started on the 15th. So I'm quite pleased with what I did get done. And normally I really like backstitching, really like when that's pushing it. I don't mind backstitching normally. I just had to keep putting it off. I just couldn't be bothered, I just didn't want to do it. So I backstitched his head, his face, the present. And I, did I do any of this? I don't think I've done his scarf at all. I thought I'd done a bit of it, but I don't think I have. I think I've got his scarf to do. I'll have to do that next time because I ran out of time. I kept putting it off. Uh, and then, one of my favourites, I would say my favourite, but yeah, no, I can't say that. I love all my projects, but this is one of my favourites. Uh, crown, shaking it again. Crown Bird Sampler by Plum Street Samplers. And Michelle Cozy Eggs finished hers. So Socks for mum, Becky, has she finished hers or she's, she's almost finished if she hasn't finished. They're absolutely beautiful. So these are the, the silks and I'm for the, you could use MPIs. Um, I just pulled the, I'm just using DMC for what would have been the MPIs. And then I'm doing the Belle Soir just with the DMCs. And I think they're gorgeous. I swapped, I think, I don't know whether I talked about this last time, I can't remember. I swapped this one because it calls for Sister Scarlet and Sister Scarlet's completely changed at the moment. It's pink, so I swapped it for Tulip, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I just treated myself to this, so I should have been stitching on it at Mum's Acorns. But I've been putting it off. I think what it is, is I have to get the stand out and the frame and I actually just want to be comfy on the sofa and just stitch in hand. So I got this out the other day and decided, because I'd like to get at least the border finished, completely finished on this this, this year, um, so that I can make it a main whip next year. So I finished down to the corner and this is stitched on 40 count vintage meadow rue by lakeside linens and this is quite possibly my favorite linen and colored stitch on i love it i think it's beautiful uh, right. 
and then the one that I do weekly is the eye stitch designs um, it's their burgundy band sampler and it gets released a little bit at a time I'm stitching it in a vera soir silks on linen banding um, this is the 100 mil um and I'm stitching it 28 count one over one so that's that's where I am at the moment so this band was last week's and I left it till the last minute thinking oh, I'll just knock it out in the night be fine no absolutely not silly me so this is absolutely beautiful I love this I love working on it it's taking me forever to do that band um, so this week's has been released and I haven't finished last week's and I obviously haven't even got onto this week's and it's Wednesday tomorrow this week's is really small so if I'm good and stitch on this tomorrow and Thursday I might just get it done I hope so. I want to keep up with it because it is fun and it is, other than that, a CC band, it is, um, they are little and it is quite easy to keep up with. Um, so that is all of my, oops, that I've worked on this month, um, although it's actually just over a month. So I talked about coffee dyeing. I just thought I'd show you some of the, so these ones I used rip dye. So this is camel, it's quite dark, but I'll, it was a lot darker than I was expecting, but I still really love it. It's almost like a gingerbread, I guess. So I'll easily find something to stitch on that. I love this and it is a real kind of dusty grey brown and I think I'm going to leave that out because there's something that I want fabric for that's in the pile that I might use that for. I'm thinking about using it for, oh it's 46, maybe I'll dye another piece, the Brenda Gervais Father Christmas, that's on 46 count, Confederate grey. I might stitch it on that, but that would be fun. Or I might stitch another piece, similar. Um, and then, God, I think it's supposed to touch face, my hairs keep tickling me. This one, it's showing up quite a lot lighter than it is. A bit more peachy isn't the word but it's just got a bit more colour to it than it's showing i think i posted some pictures of them on my instagram so these are all just um fat quarters of 40 count that i dyed so just just five like 40 count um and i love it and i got a bit addicted to it so i phoned up message to Peakside and normally I'll place an order with her and I'll just say just if you're really busy just send it whenever um, and I was literally like can you send have you got this and can you send it tomorrow <laughs> I want to do some more dyeing and my angel she did so I then dyed another two pieces I've got one in Garden Club series. So I've got that and I've put that in. I've got that kitted up. 
and I'll put that in there, I think. I don't know what I did with the other one. It should be somewhere. Um, and I've bought a load more just white, antique white, 40 count, um, so I can do some more of this. I really enjoy it. Right, so plans, if you can call them plans, I never stick to any plans. I always plan to start a million things and then really want to get my wits down. So I stick with what I'm doing. And at the moment, I really want to get acorns finished by August, maybe July actually, because I'd like to get it framed. And I really want to get my son's stocking done by Christmas so that they've both got one. Other than that, I'm not too fast. And as soon as they're done, I don't want to do any thing for anyone ever again. <laughs> I don't mean that. <laughs> I just don't want to be held to a time scale, I think. And as I was saying in my last video, my tastes have changed so much. And I don't get me wrong, I love all of my wits. And it's not that I don't like them, because I do. I really love them. I just want to be stitching other things. Like All I want to stitch is samplers. And I'll still stitch the other things in between. I just want the majority of my stitching to be stamp samplers with a bit of the other stuff thrown in. But, so after my last video, I was, um, I'd seen the market releases. There was loads that I wanted, of course. Um, and I'd seen one and I hadn't heard anyone mention it or at all um, on all their posts or floss tubes and then I was watching Christy at Crosshatch Quilts and um, she mentioned it and said oh have you, have you seen this one it's really lovely it's great and I thought wow so it's this one Berry Bowl Sampler by Heartstring Samplery and um, The Scarlet House I love The Scarlet House I love Tanya um, and I love Beth Twist I never used to own any of her things and recently I've bought three or four of hers and I just love them. At least four I think. Um, so I'd seen this and it's actually, I noticed that it was stitched from two pieces of fabric. So I messaged her and said, I saw that you love Berry Bowl Sampler, so do I. Um, would you like to stitch it and swap half? Um, so each stitch it and then swap just one half. So we each end up with a sampler, a full sampler that I've stitched half and she stitched half. And um, I felt like a bit of a stalker messaging her, but because she'd mentioned it and I thought it, just thought it'd be a really nice idea to have both um, two people stitching it. And she came back and said, oh, that'd be brilliant. I'd love it, but actually I... I stitch a different way to most people. Um, so if you stitch bottom left to top right, then bottom right to top left, yeah. She stitched the opposite way to that. And I do stitch that way. Um, but I messaged her back and said, absolutely not, I would love that. Because to me, it would, def it would just add to the fact that it, it was two different stitchers that stitched it. Um, so normally you want all your stitches to go one way, but I just thought it'd be really just add extra an extra element to it. Um, so that was it. We were both really excited to get it. And then a, a, a couple of weeks later, a week or so later, um, Beth Twist did her video and actually said, oh, yeah, you know, you could, we thought you could stitch two different people could stitch it and um, sew it together kind of like we did and um, she'd stitched half and I believe one of her model stitches had stitched the other half and they both stitched in the two different directions and I thought how cool is that but that's exactly what ours is going to be like so was super excited and then everything kicked off and I message so at peak side and to see because I don't normally stitch on 36 count but this turns out to be 
fit in a 12 by 12 frame perfectly if you stitch on 36 count and Christy loves to stitch on 36 count I thought well I'll give it a go I've done 36 before I still love it I still look beautiful so um we decided to go ahead and stitch on the 36 36 count Heartland Sue had just put in a massive order to pitch this plus to get a load of the like to get the new ones and some other stuff and that was coming just after market um so I was like 36 count Heartland when it turns up she she hadn't ordered 36 count Heartland so when it turned up there was no 36 count Heartland totally not her fault I hadn't ordered it she had come to me and asked me what I wanted and I gave her a list this wasn't out and then I wanted that and that was the only pretty much the only one she didn't order in 36 count not her fault totally mine um so we then went back and forth me and Christy and um me and Sue and Sue sent me a load of pictures with the fabric and the floss on it and the two together because Christy had Wren um and we decided to go for the new one one of the new ones which is 36 count vellum by picture this plus and that is pretty true it's not as light in the lighter parts I'd say um so I'm going to stitch mine on this and Christy's going to stitch hers on Wren and then we're going to swap and have half and half each half and half yeah and then these are all the fluffs so it's got lovely covers in it and I cannot wait to start this so hopefully tomorrow I'm going to message Christy and see if she's ready to start because she's got all hers and mine came today Oh, I'm so excited to start that. I can't wait. Uh, right, that's it for finishes and whips. Um, so, as I said, I just want to be stitching on my samplers. And I've heard quite a few people. I was watching Running With Needle, running with scissors, running with needle and scissors, running with scissors and needles. I've been watching her. She's got three videos out, and she'd commented on my Instagram. I didn't even I hadn't been watching her, but I went back and started watching her, and it turns out she's the one who Michelle Cozy Egg talks about in Germany, and. She's she stitches beautiful things absolutely lovely and um yeah i just i want to be stitching all the samplers and things like that and she was saying how she loves to kit things up and i'm exactly the same and that kitting things up and getting stash is a completely different hobby to stitching though but they're close but they are different and that is definitely me I think because I always want to start everything, I end up kitting something else up just to make myself feel better because <laughs> I haven't started something. So I have quite a lot of things kitted up. I don't regret it. It makes me feel happy to have them, to be able to start them whenever I want. And having watched Christie's latest video where she started a load of things, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm just going to start a few things just to get it out of my system and then carry on with mum's acorns and once that's done carry on with whatever I want to stitch on and then the stocking um just making sure that I can get that finished by Christmas so as I say the stitch 10 in 20 may go out of the window because I just want to stitch whatever I want and all the projects that I not all of them, but a lot of the projects that I picked for that was just to kind of get my whip count down. Although some of them were, two of them were my children's Christmas ornaments, which I'll still do, the little Mill Hill ones. But anyway, so projects I'm desperate to start. So having watched uh, Brenda and Laura of Brenda and the Serial Starter, absolutely love them. Um, and they were saying your prison projects and they've said things that you really want to start or why haven't I started this yet 
I could probably do a 10 hour video on why haven't I started this but I just picked a few um, that were kind of near the top of the pile <laughs> and maybe I'll do some more in the next video um, so one of the ones is the For the Bird series by Blackbird Designs and I want to stitch all these on one piece and that's Laura's fault um, <laughs> because she posted up on Instagram someone else who had completed it all on one piece and I'd had these for ages and I thought I'd try it. I wonder what they'll be like on one piece but I'd never I thought well I'll do it but I'd never got around to actually planning it or actually doing it or actually starting it so she posted a Laura uh, Laura posted a photo on Instagram of someone else's completed piece and it was absolutely stunning and she started doing a stitch along and I never got around to choosing what fabric because a lot of these I've got a, a quite a large fabric stash so a lot of them when I've a lot of them are kitted up with fabric and I've already done that other ones are kitted up with floss and I'm yet to choose the fabric still kitted up as far as I'm concerned because I've got loads to choose from but um I never got around to choosing and I never got around to starting so these are the floss for the first one sorry for the glare um so that is one I would love to start um sometime soon could also be classed as a prison desert island piece I guess just take a drink sorry And then another one, you'll have to excuse my printer because this is a PDF download and my printer, although it's full of coloured ink and it's pretty much brand new, it's shocking. <laughs> so this is Barbara Anna Snooty Parrot. And this is another one of Cozy Eggs Fault, Michelle, because I'd seen that she started it and I loved it. I wanted it forever and then bought it and never started it. Um, there's the flosses. Yep, yeah, I'm no Nicole either. So, again, I guess another desert island piece. couldn't pick 10 I'd be rubbish if I was picking them um so this one was the Jane Marshall by Hands Across the Sea um this is the charity one that they did and I loved this but I wasn't so keen on the colours and again Instagram came to my rescue and a lady called Jane Curry on Instagram posted up a finish of hers and it was done on like a grey fabric and it was done in dusty greys and blues and pinks and I just got to add this one DMC but um, it was these colours and oh my god instantly as soon as I saw it I was like that's how I need to stitch mine I need to stitch mine like that exactly like that and thankfully, if you go, if you like these colours, um, I think you should all go anyway, if you haven't seen it, onto Jane Curry on Instagram. She posted up the picture of her finish and she also posted her conversion. So I can stitch mine and it can look as beautiful as hers. And that was the one that I was wondering whether this one would go well with because hers was like on a grey it's like a brown grey it might need to be more grey I don't know tell me what you think do you think that would look nice it might look a little bit nice on you I think it would tell me what you think put it in the comments if anyone's watching this put them together for now so that I know that's what I was thinking Floss tube itchy nose. So, I keep saying so. Uh, bought a load of things from market. This isn't all of it. 
and I've got a little bit more to come but obviously I bought all of the blackbirds actually I lie I bought all except for one and I'm sorry Laura if you ever decide to watch <laughs> I broke the rule of I broke the law of not buying all the blackbirds what was the name of that so I bought sewing club we live in hope oh joyous day and little birds and I didn't buy the other one because I wasn't sure I would ever stitch it not that, that should mean you don't buy it <laughs> because inevitably and it didn't take me long you'll still want to stitch it eventually yeah and it took me no time at all and I wish I'd bought it but thankfully I still can so I will be getting the other one but that sewing book so this I at the moment I just want to stitch I want to stitch it all I love them all but I'm really drawn to all the drums in it I mean how cute Let's see if I can do this without showing the pattern oh, I really want to stitch that so I'm thinking I'm going to kit what is it I think I can stitch on oh no that's 36 okay 36 is yeah, um, I can do 36. 32. Mm, but 36. Now, don't get me wrong, stitching looks amazing on 32. I just prefer to stitch with one thread. And I just like, I just love 40 count or 46. So, what I'm thinking is I might kit up a drum and I might stitch it, might, and I might finish it as a sort of practice for my, oh, what was the, for the one that, the Christmas one that I stitched by Plum Street Samplers for my husband, because I don't want to mess up on that one. And this one, I kind of feel like, if I messed up a little bit, making the drum, It'll just be a bit personal, it'll make it a little bit more prim and I can make my mistakes on one of these and then do my husband's so it looks lovely. So I think I might do that, kick that up and start one of those. Start one of those. Um, I bought the, can you see the lilies? course and he's like it's for the sparrow and I really want to start one of these I'm thinking because I've been been obsessing over his eyes on the sparrow and I know loads of people have started it and loads of people have finished it and the new one to do is consider the lilies which is absolutely beautiful but because oh they're both absolutely beautiful and it's so difficult to decide which one to start maybe I should start that so I'm thinking I need to decide which one I am going to start. I'm thinking his eyes on the sparrow and I'm going to do it on 40 count. Although I do have some 46 count that I could dye. And I think I'm going to dye my own fabric for it. And yeah, so again, there's an island stitching. I'm sorry, Laura. And Brenda, I can't just stick to 10. <laughs> There's too many nice things. I'm hoping I don't end up with a avalanche of things. Um, so, I keep saying so, it's really annoying. Anyway, my friend Christy, Chris Hatch Quilts, we always joke about the fact that we love the same projects. We've got so many of the same projects. She may have started some of hers, finished some, and I haven't <laughs> stopped it or finished because I've been having to do smalls whilst my son was, well, he's only one, but 
up until he was kind of one. I wasn't able to even of a night. I was too tired that I couldn't do it until he started sleeping. So now I can get onto slightly larger projects. Um, and that's what I want to do. I want to start them all. But Christy, we always joke about the fact that we like the same projects. We, if there is some, if something's released and she likes it, I'm gonna like it. If she's got something in her stash that she's started, just has it waiting, I'm gonna like it. <laughs> um, so, as you'll see, I did think that because she mentioned me in her most recent video and the fact that we were doing the berry bowl sampler and she'd said the same, how we we both um, like exactly the same. And I thought, well, if people come and watch my floss tube now, they're going to be like, no, you don't. She hasn't, she doesn't stitch anything big. <laughs> so I thought, you know, I'd better show you that she's not lying. We do. We love the same things. <laughs> Lots of the same things. So I also have this kitted up, which I think she's just recently started. And with the floss. Again, just yet to choose the fabric from what I want to do it on. And that's quite often to start with a bit of a stumbling point for me because I don't want to get it wrong. Not that I think you really can, but uh, another one, Louise Cooleymore. Red sampler, I love it. And I've got the Gloriana Schoolhouse Red Silks for it. And I have actually got the called for 40 count vintage sand dune. So I've got that. I just haven't cut it because I bought a fat half. And I'm just sure I tend to do with leg side linens. If I can, I'll get a fat half. Um, I just haven't cut it yet. So that one I could start. I just need to get around to cutting the fabric. But kind of like Nicole's needlework, she said the other day, she's actually gone out and bought a fat quarter of something for one of her projects because she couldn't bear to cut into a fat half lake side and I kind of feel the same. <laughs> so until I'm ready to start, I definitely won't be cutting into it. And actually by then, maybe I'll have another one. So this one was released and I saw this before it was released and Sue, I don't think she normally goes to like Needlework Press and GGR. I might be wrong. But I was like, please, I've seen it and I love it and I really need it. I need it. Look at the boat. And the windmill. Oh, and the peacock. I absolutely love this. And I've just got to choose a fabric. What does it call for? It's not there, it's inside. Weeks Direct's beige, so I probably just dyed something. And I kitted it up. It comes, it calls for just DMC, so um, just, I have a full set of DMC, but, and another obsession of mine, new, not really new, French General fabrics. So I had a bag made with some. Um, yeah, I have a full set of DMC, but, um, when I started Acorns, I pulled a thread for it from there and I ran out and the new car, well, the next skein I had was a completely different, it was a green, it was a completely different green. So I've taken to just kitten up with DMC again. If it calls for it and doesn't, you know. And that's why I decide to stitch it with. If I haven't decided on a conversion or anything, I'll just buy new skeins. And then at least if I get multiples of used ones, because I do always check the box, if I've got enough there and they look the same, then I'll, I'll use them from there. So I love that. Dutch Steps Duo, that was by GGR and... New work press. And then this one came out and as soon as I saw this one and the close up that she did of the moth and the leaves. Oh, Newcastle bouquet. Oh my, I loved it. 
instantly loved it. And I love her heaven and nature, that's nice. And hope, faith, peace and love or something. Really like that one. And I didn't order it because I'd ordered too much. But I've asked for it now, so I'll be getting that one as well. So why am I trying to put that in there now? So this one calls a 40 count straw and uh, I already had it. So this is the, it calls for some DMC and then this is the, and that's the pine needles that is the closest, doesn't look anything like it in here, but it is the closest when you hold them up together and it is a slightly different shade of green and it doesn't have that goldy, shiny goldy tint to it, but one. Desperate to start that one. And then this one was another one. As soon as I saw it, I had to have it. Another Scarlet House, Jane Cowie. I love her. Another one I cannot wait to start. And this calls for Weeks Direct Cocoa. I believe it calls for 46 count. 46 count. But um, I'd asked Sue to get me some Weeks. The Zweigart, which is what this is. Um, and she got what she could and it was 40 count cocoa so it calls for 46 count cocoa and I love this it's gorgeous so I'm going to ask her for some more and that's what this calls for and after watching Christy she she stitched Liberty's Welcome by Plum Street and I got that and I decided I'll I'd always decided never, I'm not stitching with needlepoint ink silks because they're just solid colours. I'm not doing it. And then I asked her what she'd stitched her Liberty's Welcome in and she said, oh, needlepoint ink silks. So there was a sale on at Casa Sanina and I ordered all the needlepoint ink silks for it, which have turned up, but I forgot to pull that. And then when I saw Jane Cowie, that is also stitched in needlepoint ink silks. And a more of those. So I believe these ones are the ones for Liberty's Welcome. I think. So I can't wait to stitch that. This. Another one. Another must start. And oh, before I go on to that, I just realised I didn't even show you acorns. So I hadn't finished my whips. So this is where I got to. So I stitched on this needle point. Can't remember. So you may have already seen this, I can't remember. But I've now got to roll it up so I can get to here and I've got to stitch this bit next. So if you have already seen that, because I can't remember whether that's where I got to last time and then I changed to there. Anyway. And so the last thing that I bought was my unicorn chart. Christy's fault again, because she found it for me. And um, I've wanted it for ages and ages, could never find it. It never came up here. And she found it in America for me. And I got it. And it's Anne Rayner. By, I think it's Fred Through Time. Anyway, if you love this sampler, you'll know who it's by. So, Anne Rayner. 
and I decided that I'd stitch it in Paulette's conversion of silk. So I've started collecting them. I've got the Gloriana, there's two Glorianas and a silk and colours. And then I'll just start collecting the silks over time for this one. Because it calls for her conversion calls for MPIs and Belsoir. And I love Belsoir. Obviously that'll be a lot of money. But worth it seeing as it's my unicorn chart. So my only unicorn chart now is the Francis Eden sampler. And I love that. And I really, really want it. Desperately want it. But I'm not sure I'll, that'll ever come up. But we'll see. So that's my... Some of my samplers that I want to start want to stitch and I think I plan to Anne Rayner obviously isn't fully kitted yet so I won't be starting her but I would like to start Jane Cowie Newcastle Bouquet Jane Marshall I'll definitely be starting Berry Bowl Sampler without a doubt mm. that might be it I really want to start one of the eye, uh, his eyes on the sparrow, or consider the lilies. As I say, I haven't got threads or anything for that yet. Oh, and Dutch Steps duo. I'd really like to start that. So we'll see whether next time I do a video, I've actually started anything or just stuck with what I've got. Make myself feel guilty for trying to start anything. Oh, definitely have started his. Uh, very well sampler um, and just for you Christy since we both have Frenchies I've got my yoga Frenchie jumper on so it's got all different yoga poses I'm on a break downward dog namaste dog I'm reading these upside down savannah dog poses I saw it and I loved it. I had to buy it. Our little Frenchie. My daughter calls it my Dolly jumper because my dog's name's Dolly. Um, I think that's it. So hopefully I haven't missed anything. No doubt I will have done, but I'll um, see you next time. Hopefully in a month, unless my hair gets ten times worse, which it's going to. Um, hopefully in a month. Take care. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.